This video will be a quick demonstration of how easy it is to use a small free utility called Fix VTS to repair the contents of a video DVD. I'd highly recommend this utility to anyone who owns a DVD camcorder or DVD recorder. These devices tend to complete a lot of tasks on the fly and the chances of little errors occurring in the DVD structure they write are increased because of that. Now to get the software we're just going to go to dvdrepairtips.com as you can see I've entered here and if we just come over here on the menu you'll see the, VIX, the Fix VTS tutorial click on that and I'm just going to scroll down so you can see that and there's a link here to download Fix VTS so if we just click on that it will take us to videohelp.com and there's a download link just there. So I'm going to download that and we'll get back in a minute. Okay, once you've downloaded the compressed VIX, fix VTS file, you just need to extract it onto your desktop. It comes in a zip folder as you can see here. So just right click like I have, hit extract all, and let's just move that a bit. And that's extracted and we'll just wait for Windows to show us the files and there we go I'll just move that for you and what you'll see in the folder is just a little executable file like this you don't have to in, you don't have to install it you don't have to do anything with it now if we just double click on it you just got a little Microsoft security warning there if we double click on it we're just going to get a little window like this. Now if I close down the folder for you, you can just see on the desktop you're going to get a little window like this and eventually we're going to just um, drag and drop, as it says here, drag and drop some files onto this and it will process automatically. But for the moment we're just going to shut that down and get on to the next step. We're going to first of all create a folder on the desktop that you're going to drag the contents of your DVD into so that we can let Fix VTS process it. So as you can see up here I've just created a folder called v Fix VTS Import and there's nothing in that folder. I've also placed a DVD in the DVD reader of my computer and if we open that we'll see that's it there. So all we need to do is right click and select open. Don't hit play otherwise it will start playing. And if I just move that out of the way for you, this folder, the video TS, is the normal internal structure of a, video, a DVD video disc. And what we want to do is we want to get the video TS folder across to the fix VTS import folder. So in order to do that all we have to do is just click it and drag it across and Windows magically hopefully, ah yes, it will start copying it across. Now this process is probably about as interesting as watching paint dry. So I'm just going to let that copy across and once it's done we'll come back for the next step. Okay now that that's copied across I'll just open that folder and you'll see that the fix VTS import folder now contains the video TS folder that we copied across from the DVD. So we'll shut down the DVD folder and have a look in here. In the video TS folder you'll see a range of um, files that are the normal DVD structure. There's IFO files that comes from the word information and BUP files which are backup files of the IFO files and VOB files there's a VOB there. The, the VOB files are actually the MPEG-2 videos wrapped in a VOB format and all these files have a structure where they refer to each other so that the menus refer to specific files and positions on the DVD and this is the thing that Fix VTS actually corrects so there's a particular VOB file that we're looking for which is the VideoTS VOB. Now, 
let me just make sure that's in the screen for you so you can really see that this one here the video TS VOB that's the one we're looking for so if I just minimize these windows and we're going to open up fix VTS and close that window and what we want to do is really quite simple <clears throat> I'm just going to move these around so you can see what I'm doing so here we have the video TS VOB and fix VTS program now you'll see a couple of um, setup points on the fix VTS program the first point that's checked is removed unref and blank cells do I know what that means? no do I care? no probably you don't either all I know is that you leave that checked you leave the second one checked as well which is fix wrong PGC LBA pointers again who knows what the hell that means anyway and finally the last one to check is in place that means no backup so I'm going to do in place because I've got nothing to lose here right this is not a particularly um, damaged DVD but what you may want to do is leave that unchecked so that fix VTS fixes the um, files but places them in a different position or a different folder so that you don't lose the original files now all you have to do is just click on the video TS VOB file and drag it there. Once you see this little indicator ready to pro process video TS, you know that you've successfully dragged it across and you just hit clean up for that particular file or what I would recommend is just do full DVD that's just going to go through the entire structure and fix any little out references any little um, glitches in the file structure and so you've got a nice clean DVD structure so we're going to hit that and you're about to pro there's a warning to say that I'm going to process in place which means I'm not going to have any backup but I'm not particularly worried about that and as you can see here Fix VTS is just starting to process the files. Now there's about um, 4.7 gigabytes of files to process here, so we'll come back to that when that's finished. Okay, now uh, Fix VTS has finished working its magic, so if we just open up the video, sorry, the Fix VTS import folder, you can see the video TS file looks exactly the same and all the internal files look exactly the same because anything that it's done neither you or I will have any idea however if fix VTS has been the solution to the problem that you had all you have to do now is take this video TS file and navigate to it using your favorite DVD burning software to burn a new DVD. Now just a word of warning, don't just drag the video TS folder onto a fresh DVD and burn it as a folder. There's a whole DVD authoring structure that has to be written onto a DVD to let DVD players know yes this is a video DVD. So just dumping the video TS folder onto a DVD doesn't really always do the trick. Some DVD players will actually handle it. So make sure you use something like um, Nero or Cyberlink, um, no not Cyberlink, uh, Roxio or whatever DVD burning software you have because you are burning a video DVD and once you test it out either fix VTS has fixed the DVD or it has not fixed the DVD and that's about the only way you know of actually testing but I have to say that nine times out of ten uh, fix VTS will handle a lot of internal file structure problems that you get from DVDs from um, camcorders and set-top DVD recorders. If you want more information about fixing um, problematic DVDs or repairing DVDs then just go to uh, dvdrepairtips.com and there's a whole bunch of more data there as well as a um, 
a full tutorial on using fixed BTS and a few other software programs to correct internal DVD structure problems.